Today we're joined by 2019 MRS postdoctoral award winners. We have Rachel Carter and Yasu Nagaoka. Thanks for being with us, both of you. Now, congratulations again on being named recipients of the 2019 MRS postdoctoral award. Rachel, we'll start with you. You received your award for work done at the U.S. Naval Research Lab. Your citation reading for contributions to the design of safe battery materials and systems, leadership of students, and advocacy for women scientists and engineers. I want you to tell us about your work and how you came to work in that particular area. So I went to graduate school at Vanderbilt University and I worked on future lithium ion batteries. So I worked on lithium sulfur batteries, which have lower cost and higher energy. Hmm. And then when I transitioned to work for the Navy, we were more focused on the safety of batteries, preventing battery fires and enabling uh, performance in more extreme environments. So we were inspired by the observation of metallic dendrites that uh, propagate in traditional metallurgy. In this sense, you're pouring metal, hot metal into a cold mold and a uh, crystal grows very rapidly. Mm. And a similar morphology is what batteries are often blamed for when the fires ha occur. And so the question was if we could establish a similar scenario in a battery by inducing a temperature gradient across the electrodes. That's the question, what's the answer? It works. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Also, advocacy of women in science is very important to you? It is. Um, I've been able to be a co-founder of our uh, partnership of women in the Naval Research Enterprise mm. and done a lot of various um, pro uh, professional development and uh, collaborations with women across the lab. Very good. Thank you. Yasu, now your turn. Your postdoctoral work at Brown yes. earned this award and your citation reads for contributions to the assembly of nanocrystal superstructure. Same question as Rachel. Tell us about your work and how you came to focus on this particular aspect of material science. Okay, so my research is about self-assembly mm -hmm. to create superstructure. And self-assembly is important research topic in chemistry or material science. And uh, uh, you can create like new nanomaterial through self-assembly. And uh, sometimes self-assembly is compared to like Lego block, like toy Lego block, you can create superstructure. Uh, but like we chemists using like, you know, the uh, molecule or like nanocrystal instead of like Lego block. And instead of using hand, we use chemical and physical interaction. And specifically uh, in my research, yeah. uh, we used tetrahedral shape nanocrystal to create superstructure. And uh, we actually found four new superstructures including quasi-crystal uh, superstructure, and it is the first uh, single component quasi-crystalline. So this particular award, the MRS Postdoctoral Award, is somewhat unique in honoring this particular period of a researcher's career. Tell us about the importance of the postdoctoral phase in a career in science. Rachel, back to you. So for me, the postdoc was a great transition from kind of being a student where you are always looking up to your professors and understanding how to get ownership of my own research. Mm -hmm. So feeling more like an equal among researchers and learning things like how to be a corresponding author and write proposals and uh, advocate for getting scientific funds. And Yasu, why is the postdoctoral phase important to you? Mm, I agree with Rachel, <laughs> like, you know, it's pretty important and uh, sure. uh, sometimes, like, uh, it takes, like, five years to get PhD, but, mm. like, you know, uh, once you learn something, like, you know, uh, you find, like, you know, something you don't understand, and the postdoctoral phase is uh, pretty interesting because, like, you know, you can do a lot more than, like, you know, when you could do, like, when you are, like, graduate student. Sure. So I enjoyed a lot, like, you know, uh, research. I can tell. I can tell you both enjoy what you do. Final questions for both of you. What's the next phase after you conclude your postdoc work? And Yasu, we'll start with you. Where do you go next? Well, <laughs> it's pretty difficult to predict my future, but uh, I really appreciate like, you know, fundamental research and uh, like educational role. So yeah, hopefully I keep uh, getting involved with like, you know, the fundamental research or educational like, activities. And Rachel, what about you? 
I'm in the process of transitioning to becoming a staff scientist at the Naval Research Lab, and I'll be working uh, further on the battery safety direction as well as grid storage energy storage, which is uh, sodium sulfur batteries, which show a lot of promise for being very inexpensive and utilizing abundant materials uh, globally. Rachel, Yasu, thanks so much, and good luck to both of you. Thank, thank you very much. Yes, thank you.